All right, so what I want to talk about today is MPL in North America. It's a commonly wondered question. It's something people ask me in stream. It's something I talk about with other players in NA. Is there going to be an MPL in North America? And as some of, so there's, there's a couple things I want to go over in this video. Um, the first thing we're going to look at is an article that came out September 22nd, 2021. It happened right after the North American qualifiers, um, the M3 North American qualifiers. Uh, for those of you who don't know, BTK has gone on to go to M3. This is the second time a North American team will ever represent us in M3, and it's a pretty big deal. It's a, it's a really big deal because we didn't get an invitation last time, but this time we are. So I want to cut over to this article. Okay, so this is, there's like, it's not a very long article, it's super quick. You can look it up if you want, you can Google uh, MPL North America. It'll be like one of the first things that pop up. So MPL North America will most likely happen soon, says Moonton. Um, so pretty much 1Esports is interviewing uh, Nicholas Chang. In an interview with 1Esports, Moonton North American Esports Manager Nicholas Chang spoke about how MLBB continues to have an upward trend in the mobile esports market. We've seen growth over the last year, and there's a great interest in Mobile Legends Bank Bang here, he said. We look forward to bringing more local and global events together. So that right there, I mean... Saying local and global events together kind of just means, you know, we might get some more tournaments. Um, I already know that there's going to be more North American tournaments coming. I'm personally hosting a league uh, that's unofficial, but Moonton is sponsoring it. You know, there are most likely going to be another community tournament. We will see. Some sources say that there probably is. Um, but it goes on to say... Chang also noted that more and more people in NA are now embracing mobile games, especially since positive feedback was received after the North American qualifier. Now, something that's really important to say here is the North American qualifier did amazing in numbers. View rate, all of that, it did really, really, really good. And so did the original NACT tournament that was hosted by Assassin Dave. I mean, the numbers are matching MPL numbers, and those are just tournaments. You know, the presence of Sir Action Slacks and Capitalists as casters, which these guys are uh, Dota casters, which what, we're not going to talk about that right now. But the presence of Sir Action Slacks and Capitalists as casters in the North American qualifiers is one proof that mobile esports can be easily accepted by PC players, Chang stated. I wouldn't really say that, but okay. I think anyone's going to take a decent job if you're paying them to cast. With the rapid growth of MLBB, there could very well be an official MPL tournament in North America soon. MPL North America? Question mark. Most likely. Currently, we are still looking for options and conducting proactive discussions with potential partners, said Chang. So this is what the head guy said. Most likely. Currently, we are still looking for options. So what I get from that is that... You know, a lot of people are saying it's going to happen in like January, February. It's most likely not going to happen then. I think uh, around halfway through next year, maybe the end of the year, we'll see worst case scenario the year after next. Um, I also think depending on how BTK does, that could be a big thing. How they do in this world tournament, it could possibly influence it. But overall, the growth of North America playing this game and viewership is rising. Not only that. But the growth of other team of other countries watching North American gameplay, we're getting some nice sized streamers coming over, you know, some nice sized North American content creators for Mobile Legends happening. We've had Assassin Dave, who's been a pioneer for it. Um, you have Gosu General, you have BTK, you have several Facebook streamers popping up. You know, I really think that there's an opportunity for this. The next thing I want to go over is during during the M3 draw. So, okay, so they jump into talking about this. Let's turn it up. Let's turn it up a little bit. Okay, so he just asked him, do we intend? We believe. 
Do we intend to launch, launch more MPL leagues come 2022? We've launched MPL BR and MPL KH in the last few months. What's the esports strategy behind it? In MLBB Esports as a global esports product, on top of our expansions into Brazil and Cambodia, our team had also launched MPL Mena in October. While we're not able to share a detailed roadmap with you at the moment, uh, the message that I want to share here, I want to leave here, is that it's definitely in our plans to keep the expansion of MLBB Esports, pro esports, going into places where we are seeing very high demand. Boom! Let's, one more time. MLBB Esports, pro esports, going into places where we are seeing very high demand from fans. We know that our fans have been clamoring for MPL to be launched in their country, so uh, definitely stay tuned. I mean, I feel like that right there says enough. I think, I think that's like the guarantee right there. Like, you have to think about it like this, right? The reality is this is North America is probably going to be one of the hardest spots for them to do it, but it's also going to have the biggest return. If you can secure a pro league in North America and get the viewership, the money's gonna be there. So I honestly believe that like they they have to. It might it might not happen next year. I really feel like it's going to personally, but uh Thank you so much, Michael. It. It's been a pleasure talking to you and we'll see you at M3. So tell me what you guys think. Do you th think we're gonna see an MPL in North America soon? We don't have a whole lot of information. I do. If you disagree, feel free to leave a comment, say what's up. If you haven't already and you've watched this whole video, press subscribe, press like, leave a comment, help a brother out. I'm out of here.